How can you use the law of attraction to become financially free without losing your sanity? So, you want to be rich, huh? We all want to be financially free, don't we? Imagine sipping a pina colada on a beach somewhere, watching your bank balance climb while you do absolutely nothing. Sounds great, right? Well, before you go quitting your day job and trying to manifest gold bars in your living room, let's talk about how to actually use the law of attraction to bring more money into your life without going broke in the process. You see, the law of attraction, LOA, isn't some woo-woo magical spell where you sit in a corner chanting money, money, come to me while staring at your vision board, although, hey, no judgment if you try. It's about shifting your mindset, aligning with abundance, and, here's the kicker, actually taking some action. So, let's dive into the world of manifesting financial freedom, with a sprinkle of humor, of course. After all, if we can't laugh while trying to get rich, what's the point? 1. Rewiring your money mindset, yes, your brain needs a tune-up. Identifying and smashing those annoying limiting beliefs. You know those thoughts that pop into your head, like I'll never be rich or money doesn't grow on trees, shout out to parents everywhere. Yeah, those are limiting beliefs, and they're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. If you've been walking around thinking that money is evil, that rich people are secretly plotting world domination, or that you're just destined to be a broke artist, it's time to break up with those ideas. They're toxic, and your bank account deserves better. Solution. Channel your inner therapist. Grab a notepad and write down all the weird things you believe about money. Now, pretend you're your own therapist, without the hefty fee, and challenge those beliefs. For example, change money is hard to come by into money flows into my life like Netflix recommendations I didn't ask for. The more you repeat it, the more your subconscious starts to believe it. Fake it till you make it, right? Cultivating a wealth mindset, or at least pretending you're fancy. Having a wealth mindset doesn't mean pretending you're living the Kardashian lifestyle on a ramen noodle budget. It means thinking like a person who knows they're going to be financially free, even if you're still digging change out of the couch cushions. Solution, daily wealth affirmations, because you're basically a money magnet. Repeat after me, I am worthy of obscene amounts of money. I attract wealth like bees to honey. Money flows to me effortlessly, like, well, Netflix recommendations. Say this to yourself every morning, maybe in front of a mirror for dramatic effect, until your brain gets the memo. 2. Aligning your energy with financial abundance, aka. Money vibes only. The power of visualization, because apparently daydreaming can make you rich. Let's be real, we all daydream about what we'd do if we had more money. But when it comes to the law of attraction, daydreaming is basically a required skill. The trick is to do it with intention. Instead of fantasizing about winning the lottery, because, let's face it, the odds aren't great, visualize your actual financially free life. Solution, money meditations. Sit somewhere comfy, close your eyes, and imagine your bank account looking juicy. Picture yourself checking your balance and saying, dang, is that another zero? Feel the joy, the relief, and maybe even the urge to do a happy dance. The more you feel like it's already happened, the faster the universe will be like, okay, okay, I get it, here's your money. Gratitude, the magic money magnet, spoiler, it's not just for Thanksgiving. Here's the thing, the universe loves gratitude. If you're grumpy and always complaining about your lack of funds, the universe will say, oh, you want more of that. Cool, I got you. But if you're all sunshine and rainbows about the few coins you've got, the universe will be like, oh, you like that? Let me send you more. Solution, gratefulness gets the green. Every day, write down three things you're grateful for, money related or not. Be grateful for that one dollar you found in your jacket pocket or for the fact that your favorite coffee place didn't charge you for that extra shot of espresso. When you appreciate what you have, you'll attract more things to appreciate, and hopefully, more espresso. 3. Taking inspired action, yes, you actually have to do stuff. Understanding inspired action, 
because wishing won't pay the bills. Okay, so here's the thing about the law of attraction, sitting on your couch and thinking positive thoughts about money is not going to magically make your bank account explode with cash. You've got to take action, but not just any action. Inspired action. What's inspired action, you ask? It's when you get those little nudges or ideas that pop into your head like, hey, maybe I should start that side hustle, or hmm, I could totally sell these weird crafts on Etsy. That's the universe giving you a gentle push to get moving. Solution, don't ignore the nudge. When you get these ideas, don't brush them off like a spam email. Follow through. If the universe hands you a business idea on a silver platter, the least you can do is give it a shot. Who knows? You could be sitting on the next million dollar idea, and you wouldn't even know it because you're too busy binge watching friends for the 10th time. Setting financial goals, aka stop wishing, start planning. Saying I want to be rich is about as helpful as saying I want pizza and expecting it to show up without ordering. You need to be specific about your goals if you want to attract financial freedom. Solution, smart goals, baby. Write down some smart financial goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. For example, instead of saying, I want more money, say, I want to save $5,000 by the end of the year by cutting back on impulse buys and starting a side hustle. The universe will be like, oh, now I know what you want. Here, take some of that. For dealing with money setbacks, don't panic. Overcoming fear and resistance, because money phobia is real. Let's be honest, fear of losing money or screwing up financially is real. But here's a secret, fear is the quickest way to scare off abundance. If you're constantly worrying about your finances, you're basically sending out a stay away signal to wealth. Solution, chill out and trust the process. When fear creeps in, remind yourself that money is coming your way, whether it's in the form of a paycheck, a business deal, or some unexpected blessing, like finding $20 in an old pair of jeans. Trust the process and keep your vibe high. Abundance is attracted to confidence, not fear. Embracing financial setbacks as learning opportunities, or just blame Mercury retrograde. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, financial setbacks happen. Maybe you lose a client, or your investments take a nosedive. Don't panic. The law of attraction doesn't work on a straight line. Setbacks are just plot twists on your way to financial freedom. Solution. When life hands you lemons, invest in a lemonade stand. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Maybe you need to tweak your strategy or diversify your income streams. The key is not to wallow in self-pity but to keep moving forward, one inspired action at a time. After all, every good success story has a few bumps in the road. 5. Achieving long-term financial freedom, cue the fireworks. Multiple streams of income, because one stream is so 1990s. If you really want to lock in long-term financial freedom, you're going to need multiple streams of income. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, unless, of course, you're a chicken farmer, in which case, go for it. Solution: Get creative with your income sources. Think about how you can diversify your income. Maybe you start a side hustle, invest in real estate, or finally cash in on that weird talent you have for creating memes. The more streams of income you have, the less you'll stress when one of them has a dry spell. Plus, you'll feel like a financial superhero, and who doesn't want that? Keep the wealth mindset alive, even when you're rolling in dough. When you start seeing results, don't stop doing the things that got you there. Keep practicing gratitude, visualizing your goals, and taking inspired action. Financial freedom is an ongoing process, like brushing your teeth or remembering to water your plants, but, you know, more lucrative. Solution, make abundance a habit. To maintain financial freedom, make it a habit to check in with your goals, practice gratitude, and keep an eye out for new opportunities. As long as you stay aligned with abundance, the universe will keep sending you the good stuff. Fast track your wealth manifestation. All right, you've got the basics covered, but if you're ready to supercharge your money manifestation and get some top-notch expert guidance, I've got just the thing for you. Check out the ultimate guide to manifesting, attract money, love, and abundance now on Udemy. This course is jam-packed with actionable strategies, 
proven techniques and all the expert insights you need to start manifesting wealth like a seasoned pro. Think of it as a masterclass in attracting abundance, without any of that cheesy infomercial nonsense. Seriously, go ahead and treat yourself to this course. Your future financially free self will thank you. And there you have it. A fun yet practical take on how to use the law of attraction to reach financial freedom, plus a killer course recommendation to help you level up your manifesting game. If even one tip from this article inspired you, that makes my day. Feel free to share it with your friends so they can benefit too. Stay tuned for more tips, insights, and inspiration. Catch you in the next podcast on cocoshunkson.net. of history We find our way Through the wreckage of hate Let's pave a new day With empathy as our compass And love as our guide Let's walk hand in hand With peace by our side
Bridges of peace, it troubles troubled skies and eyes.